This is a PvP build guide video for the Druidic Staff, and why would you want to use a healing weapon for PvP, you may ask? Well, out of every build in the entirety of Albion Online, this PvP build is the one build that I would use in a 1v1 duel for millions of silver. You know, in, you see in cities these people dueling all the time and they're winning millions of silver in these high stakes bets? Well, this is is the build that I would use for that specific purpose, but also this build basically makes you pretty much unkillable unless you are massively, massively zerg down in the open world. It is un almost unkillable in corrupt dungeons unless someone uses a lot of traps to kill you. This build is so hard to fight against. Um, the only downside to this build is it lacks a little bit of chase, but it gives you one opportunity to chase people down uh, with the soldier boots and the fact that your spells do slow your opponent. Uh, but the, the point of using this build is that you cannot be one-shotted if you use your abilities correctly. You cannot be killed unless you, you're like AFK or eat maybe like a full bolt caster E with your abilities all on cooldown, okay? Uh, there, there is really nothing in the game that can kill you one-on-one -on -one with this build. It is the most unstoppable, unkillable, unbeatable of all Albion Online PvP builds in the entire game. And I'm going to show you why and how it works and what items we use. So let's get into it, okay? So first off, we're using the Druidic Staff. We are using the ability Thorn Growth, and what this does, it casts a big circle on the ground, but also it makes your auto attacks deal a bonus damage based on how many Thorns charges the enemy has. This damage, it's quite high, it adds up pretty fast, and the Thorns Growth slows your opponents by 25%, and that stacks, but um, the slow doesn't really stack, okay? Just, just the damage and the fact that when you auto attack them, you see this little stack of thorns charges. That's what's stacking, not the slow. I don't know if that's a bug or what, but uh, this is this is already a very high DPS ability, and uh, it's basically free. It costs 15 energy, but with your passive, you get five energy every auto attack. So you attack three times. Look how fast I attack. One, two, three. My, uh, I've already regained all of my mana, and including you have passive mana regeneration. Let's cast an ability. Look how fast it regenerates. Oh, it's already back up to max. <laughs> you see, like it's super cheap. Like you're never gonna run out of mana with this build. You have infinite sustain, but you're also a healer. Okay, for your W ability, you're gonna be using protection of nature, and there's two reasons why you're gonna be using this ability particularly. It increases your damage resistance by 77. Uh, and healing received is increased for 6 seconds on a 15 second cooldown. That's insane. Alright, and what this does is it's it's basically a damage shield, making you super tanky, but this also enhances your other healing abilities, which I'm going to get into in a little bit. Um, for now though, let's talk about the E ability here. This is just a big burst heal. You cast it on yourself and after a few seconds, it, it, it hits you. Now, you see that healed for 773? Well, guess what? You can enhance that healing by 35 additional percent uh, by casting your W first into your E. But it doesn't stop there, okay? Um, because you're also running Roast Pork, which every attack you do is going to give you Life Steal, which is this Thorns that pops up. Look at that, 7, 14, 14. 14. Okay, it's basically seven seven additional healing per tick, which may not sound like much, but it, it adds up big time. Okay, we're going to cast Thorns, and we're going to auto-attack. 68 heal, 26, 23. Like, you're healing hundreds of damage a second constantly as you fight. Uh, all right. Um, so people that try to poke you, poke around with you, it's not going to work. And uh, guess what? Protection in nature, it, it doesn't it doesn't increase the healing from lifesteal, unfortunately. However, it does increase the heal from your E spells. Check this out. Remember, we healed 773. Now we heal 1043, which is 300 something additional. Ugh, it's it's too good. It's it's dirty. And look at that. It's already almost back off cooldown. Also, the W spell gives you a little bonus heal of 100 something, 148 right there. It's it's that good. It's insane. It's so good. Okay. Uh, Moizak is our offhand because it increases our auto attack damage, our spell damage, but it also gives us more self healing, which guess what? 
scales the mercenary jacket. You got bloodlust. Hey, look at this. 105 health every time you deal damage. Guess what constantly deals damage? These little thorn circles. Guess what constantly deals damage? Your auto attacks. Guess what enhances your healing from your bloodlust? That's right. Your protection of nature. Cast protection uh, of nature. Cast bloodlust and just start killing things. Like, this is a full heal. 200, 200, 200, 200. Like, you're, you're fully healed with a single cast of bloodlust. But you're also almost fully healed from your e ability your auto you you're constantly healing all the time okay your bloodlust is your oh crap i'm about to die spell but it gets even better okay say the opponent starts to run away because they realize they can't kill you they can't even begin to hurt you you have wanderlust you have the best movement ability in the game which chases for a very long time one minute cooldown, unfortunately, but remember, you're chasing them and you're putting little slow circles under them, so they can't really run away too well, okay? Uh, if they wander lust and you wander lust, well, you're wander lusting 25% faster because they're constantly being slowed by these spells. Constantly. You could, you just, you have, if you cast three of them, you gotta wait three seconds, it's not a big deal. You just constantly hit them again with more slows. You're always gonna be able to chase your opponent down no matter what, okay? Except maybe minor boots. Minor boots are a little weird. Uh, but that's a two-minute cooldown. You'll catch up to them eventually. Uh, now, what do you do against the bursty boys? The crossbow users, the death givers, the dual dagger guys. The If you watch my other video on Cursed, uh, cursed Staff, uh, you know that's the biggest one-shot build in the entire game. The most damage possible in a single attack. We can survive that with this build. That's right. Uh, using the Hunter Hood, you have Retaliate, which gives you a huge damage resistance, but it also reflects damage. This is further increases your damage because you're sitting. You're going to be sitting here tanking their hits. Okay. Guess what? Your uh, Reflect also heals you from your roast pork, and that is enhanced. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Okay. Uh, here's another. Well, what I mean by enhanced is you have retaliate for damage resistance, and you have your W spell for damage resistance. This stacks. This makes you hyper tanky. You're tankier than plate users if you cast both of them. So what you do is if you're about to be shot to death by a crossbow. W, D, and then nothing kills you. There is not a single spell or one big hit ability in the entire game that'll kill you when you have that up. Furthermore, if you reflect someone's crossbow, you're going to take half their HP in a single hit, okay? Uh, while they're being slowed, while you're, he you will heal off that damage that you retaliate, you reflect, you retaliate. Let's say a crossbow chunks you for, you know, a good chunk of your health. You have re Retaliate up, you chunk them for 1,500 damage, you're going to heal 9.45% of that damage. So you're healing for quite a lot, on top of all your other heals, and if, yeah, it, it's just insane. It's crazy, it's the most powerful build possible. If you want to get even more tanky, you could use a Growth Potion just to, just to flex on people. You don't even need potions, but if you wanted to... You know, you have enhanced healing from multiple sources. Uh, you can you can bring he healing potions if you want. You don't need mana potions. You could use sticky potions, poison potions. The, the sky is the limit. And, of course, we want to use a Thetford Kate because every 15 seconds you get that little lightning shock, which is just... It's just free damage. It's it's going to allow you to kill your opponents faster. You could also use a defensive cape if you want. You don't need it. You, you, you just need more damage. The only thing that... The, if you want more damage and you don't need your W, you can always swap to the Bramble Seed, which is... It's good damage. It's a good crowd control. It's This build is the number one build that I use when I open Rome PvP. This is the number one build that I use in a 1v1 duel. This is the build that I use in a Corrupted Dungeon. I use it in arenas. It's... It's too powerful. It's it, it should have been nerfed a long time ago. And they tried. They tried nerfing it with with the thorn changes and, and the other changes, but it's still too good. It's just it's just the it's just the best ever build. I, I don't know. There's <laughs> If you want to duel me for millions of silver, this is the build I'm rocking. I'm sure there's like you can stack anti-healing stuff all you want, um, but I'm gonna be able to weather any attack that you can bring on, and uh, it, it's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a really long fight for you. And uh, I'm not saying there's a build that can't that can beat this, but I've never met it. I don't know what that build would possibly be. I don't think it exists yet. Uh, one shot builds don't work. Tanky builds don't work. The only thing that this really loses to is when some guy holds you down in traps and corrupted dungeons because those traps melt your health way too fast and you can't life steal off them and you can't reflect it. And it's really hard to, no matter how much armor you have, the traps still hurt the hell out of you. That's the only way I've ever 
died with this build ever is when some guy has a build that traps you in traps. That's it. That's the only counter. It's the only known counter. You heal it like you heal an insane amount. In, like I didn't mean to cast it on myself. I meant to cast it on the target dummy. But we can cast it on two two things. That's another thing that I forgot too. Is that um, your E spell? If you're a group player, if you're if you like to duos, you can heal yourself and your friend and top both of you off. It's 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 crazy. This build's too good. It's too good. Uh, you know, I, I really don't like telling people this. Oh, I want to go over a few other things too. Um, you want the attack speed passive on your helmet. You definitely want that. It, it, it hits a, a faster attack breakpoint. Uh, attack speed 1.7. Without it, it's 1.6. I know that's only a 0.1 difference, but hear me out. That 0.1 difference allows you to get one extra auto attack off before recasting your thorn growth, okay? Um, and if you if you don't want that, you can also use a torch if you want to be super cheap and not use a Moizak. Um, because the build is already hyper cheap, like Hunterhood cheap, Mercenary Jacket cheap, Soldier Boots cheap. These are all regular items. These are not artifact items. They just use normal items to craft. The only expensive item, like Druidic Staff, is cheap. A tier 8, 42,000. That's cheap, 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 cheap. Um, Moizak is expensive, okay? Moizak, freaking pricey, 1.82 mil there for that. But you can use a torch and make this a hyper budget build. Um, <laughs> it's, it, it's so good, guys. Just try it out. I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. I read every comment. I make videos every day, okay? I may not reply to every comment, but I do read every single comment. So make sure you leave a comment, leave a like. Make sure you're subscribed because videos every day, you don't want to miss tomorrow's video, right? And if this video helped you out, make sure to leave a monetary donation by clicking the thanks button down below. Uh, if you want to subscribe, well, you can always, well, subscribe to my YouTube. It's free. Okay, but if you want to become a channel member, five bucks a month, click the join button. You get access to private, more personal videos. You get uh, some of those videos like how to how to rat, how to uh, a really good corrupted dungeon build, how to be a YouTuber. There's a playlist in the pinned comment. If any of those videos interest you, become a channel member. You'll get access to them. Very cool stuff. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Take care, lads.